Year or Year Zero and One. Today I found another non-fiction book. This one is called Can You Tell a Tyrannosaurus from an Allosaurus? Can You Tell a Tyrannosaurus from an Allosaurus? Written by Buffy Silverman. This is a Learner Publications, published by Learner Publications. I wonder if you will be able to answer that question at the end of the story. Remember, a non-fiction book has a table of contents. We will find out whether these dinosaurs have two fingers or three. We'll find out about their food on page 10, their teeth on page 14, body size, page 18, when they lived on page 24, and some diagrams of these dinosaurs on page 28. Remember, non-fiction books always have a glossary and an index to give us more information. Two fingers or three. Millions of years ago, huge dinosaurs walked on two legs. Their arms looked tiny on their giant bodies. Tyrannosaurus and Allosaurus were two of these giants. Tyrannosaurus and Allosaurus were both meat eaters. Their sharp teeth and claws gripped and tore food. They belonged to a group called theopods. Now theopods stood on two legs. The birds in your back garden are related to them. They held their heads low to the ground. Strong, short necks supported their huge heads and long tails balanced the weight of their heads. But can you tell these dinosaurs apart? Two children balance on a seesaw if they are the same weight. A heavy tail balances a heavy head in the same way. Count the fingers on a Tyrannosaurus hand. Each hand had two fingers with a hook shaped claws. The label says a Tyrannosaurus claw was about the length of your hand. Look at an Allosaurus skeleton. Allosaurus had three fingers. Its hands and claws were larger than the Tyrannosaurus hands and claws. The label here tells us each finger ended in a hooked claw. Sharp, strong claws help the Allosaurus hunt. Finding food. Some scientists think Tyrannosaurus was a scavenger. Scavengers find and eat dead animals. These scientists didn't think Tyrannosaurus could have held the live prey with only two fingers. The label on this on page 10 says animals that are hunted for food are called prey. Other scientists think Tyrannosaurus hunted. They studied, studied animal fossils with bite marks from Tyrannosaurus. Some of the bite marks had healed. That means an animal escaped from the hunter. If you look at the fossils, our label here says you can see bite marks from Tyrannosaurus teeth on these fossils. Allosaurus hunted live prey. Scientists don't know if these dinos hunted alone or in packs. They might have battled one another for food. Allosaurus hunted small dinosaurs. It probably hunted other larger animals too. The label for, on page 13 says Allosaurus might have hunted and fought with Stegosaurus. Teeth, long or short. Tyrannosaurus teeth were as big as bananas. They were shaped like ice cream cones. They tore through flesh. Allosaurus teeth were flatter and shorter. They were about the size of your fingers. Their sharp edges cut like knives. Allosaurus could open its jaws very wide. Its top teeth worked like a hatchet. They sliced off chunks of flesh. Tyrannosaurus bit much harder than Allosaurus. It had super strong jaws. Its teeth sank deep into the flesh and crushed bones. Body size, big or bigger. 
Imagine standing on the ground and peeking into a second story window. Allosaurus was tall enough to do that. It grew as long as a school bus. Tyrannosaurus was even bigger. Its head could almost reach the roof of a two-story house. Its body stretched longer than Allosaurus. Allosaurus weighed as much as a rhinoceros, yet it was not the largest predator of its time. Other dinosaurs hunted it. Tyrannosaurus weighed more than twice as much as Allosaurus. It weighed about as much as a large elephant. Tyrannosaurus was one of the largest land predators. The label here says no animal hunted an adult Tyrannosaurus. Tyrannosaurus walked on powerful legs, but it might not have been able to run. It probably moved as fast as a polar bear. Heavy animals have a lot of weight to carry. Moving around is harder for them. Allosaurus probably moved faster than Tyrannosaurus, but it did not run fast. It might have been as fast as a brown bear. Long ago, or even longer, Allosaurus and Tyrannosaurus never met. Allosaurus lived long before Tyrannosaurus. Allosaurus lived 155 to 150 million years ago. Tyrannosaurus lived 80 million years after Allosaurus. It was one of the last dinosaurs on Earth. Scientists dig and brush away dirt to uncover Tyrannosaurus fossils. Most Allosaurus fossils have been found in the Western United States. Allosaurus also lived in Europe and Africa. Allosaurus fossils have been found in this area of Colorado. Tyrannosaurus roamed across Western North America. People have dug many of its fossils in South Dakota and Montana. Maybe someday you will find a dino fossil. Here are some diagrams. Can you tell these dinosaurs apart? We've got the Tyrannosaurus. We have a look, he's got a huge body, giant teeth, small arms, smaller hands, and two fingers. The Allosaurus has got blunt horns on his head, a big body, small arms, large hands, three fingers, and smaller teeth than the Tyrannosaurus. The back of the book, we find the glossary. That gives us definitions for words in the story. A fossil, the remains of a living thing from a long time ago. A predator is an animal that hunts other animals for food. Prey, an animal that is hunted by other animals for food. A scavenger, an animal that feeds on dead matter. And the theropod, is a member of a group of meat-eating dinosaurs that walked on their back legs and had short front arms. We can find other books listed here about these dinosaurs. The end of the non-fiction book is always the index, and that gives us the page number of where we will find different information in the book. I wonder if you can tell a Tyrannosaurus from an Allosaurus now. Can you draw some pictures of these dinosaurs? What things are the same for both dinosaurs? And what was different? Maybe you could do a chart like I've got here. This is called a Venn diagram. We can see the things that were different for the Tyrannosaurus and different for the Allosaurus. In the middle of the two circles, we can write things that were the same. We know they were both carnivores and they were theropod dinosaurs. Remember, they were the ones that were carnivores and had large back legs and small arms. Have fun, and we'll look forward to seeing your drawings when we get back to school.